Hi guys, I'm Koki Cabrina and I'm the president of the Japanese Culture Club. And I'm Kanami Cabrina, the vice president of the Japanese Culture Club. In this club, we'll be going over, obviously, Japanese culture and different traditions they had and how they evolved over the years. And we'll be opening them on Wednesdays and you can just come whenever you want, as long as you're part of the club. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the topic will be up to you guys to choose. So our first meeting, it will just be you guys and what you want to learn about Japanese culture. Okay, join. Hi, I'm Cooper. And do you like pickleball? If so, you should join the pickleball club. Even if you don't know if you like it or haven't played at all, you can still join, you don't need any experience. Me and my cousin, Sally, We'll be organizing it and we'll be meeting twice a month. Uh, for the first half of the year, we will just be practicing. And then near the end of the year, we will have tournaments with fun prizes. Hey, we are Performing Arts Council. I represent theater, orchestra, dance company, ballroom, band, pet crew, student government, choir. And we are so excited for this year. Uh, we are trying to make performing arts bigger and better than ever before, right? But we're only like eight people. So we need you guys' help. We need people to be able to be willing to come and be like, hey, what can I do to help? What can I, like, what can I go and help set up? And be like, you need to get the word out. That's our biggest thing. We want this to be the most like publicized thing ever, right? We want you to be like, hey, okay, there's a show coming on. I'm gonna go tell all my friends about it and tell my friends to tell their friends so that everyone knows that there's something going on. Um, we are super excited about it, and we hope you apply. Hello there, I'm Moses Esplin, Tim Q's Math Club president. You might be wondering what we do in Math Club. Surprisingly enough, we do math. Jokes aside, there are numerous reasons to join Math Club. We participate in math-related contests, play math-related games, get kicked out of casinos for card counting, and have perhaps the best food in all of the clubs. In previous years, we have had bagels, pizza, donuts, and Cafe Rio. If that's not enough to convince you, it's your loss. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Lee, and I am the president of Girls in Action. So if you're a girl who is driven to use your passion to connect with peers and the community, then this is the perfect club for you. This is the perfect opportunity for you to finally put some action into what you think is important, and also create an impact around our surroundings. We will try to get some guest speakers. We have some fun ideas planned for the year and it's just gonna be super hype and it's gonna be such a party and I'm gonna have some great snacks for you all. So I hope you join and I hope to see you at our first meeting. Checkmate. Oh, hello. I'm Theo Crosby, president of the Chess Club. Now, you might be wondering, how can you become a great chess master, just like me? Well, the answer is simple. But first, let's look at a couple clips of the action you'll get in Chess Club. Checkmate. I think that's not even a move. Uh... <laughs> Theo, you just broke a piece. You're the one they're hunting. The pirate. You seem somewhat familiar. Have I threatened you before? I make a point of avoiding familiarity with pirates. Ah. Well, then it would be a shame to put a black mark on your record. So if you excuse me. Do you think this wise boy? Crossing blades with a pirate? All right, Sparrow. A man is holding a sword against your throat. What do you do? I cast Fireball. In the enclosed room. Yes! You what? Timpview D&D Club. The first meeting is after school, September 9th in U31. D&D Club is not responsible for hearing loss, lost dice or souls, disease, chauncey, buckles being swashed, or death. Hey Timpview, I'm Avi. I'm the new club president for the Environmental Club this year. And the Environmental Club is a club that will meet once a month after school in Mr. Montgomery's room. And we will discuss environmental issues in our local communities and see in which ways we can help solve them. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope I can see you there. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm Grace. And I'm Will. And this is the Mock Trial Club. 
So Mob Child Club gets a case in January. It could be murder or arson or something like that. And then the lawyers and the witnesses collaborate to prepare a case, which we then take to compete against the teams of other high schools. And uh, we are completely student-led, so we are really flexible with meeting times, uh, including days and hours, and extracurriculars. Um, and if you have no experience in mock trial, that is just fine. We will have optional meetings in November to cover the basics of mock trial and to ask any questions. Tryouts will be in early December until they can direct any questions to Lily, Grace, or me. Join mock trial! <laughs> Join mock trial! Yeah. FCCLA stands for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. In FCCLA, we do service projects to help those around us. In FCCLA, we have great food and have a good time. FCCLA can help you become a better leader. FCCLA, you can participate in competitions so you have more opportunities. One. Want a chance to make new friends? FCCLA has many opportunities for you to socialize and make fun memories. One. Please join FCCLA today. Go. What's up, guys? My name is Adam Ron with Timpy National Honor Society where we focus on building character, serving others, becoming a better leader, and encouraging scholarship. But if I can't convince you to join, then maybe someone else can. <laughs> join NHS! Okay, good job. Hey Thunderbirds, I'm Claire Armin and I'm this year's Secretary General for Tim Pease Model United Nations team. Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Clark and I'm the Director General of Tim Pease Model United Nations team. Some of you might be wondering, what is anyone? It's debate, but class facts. Every year we have two to three conferences and at these conferences, we are assigned both a country and a topic to do research on. We are awarded points based on how accurately and enthusiastically we present our country's policies. And we're pretty good at it. Hi, I'm Carter Small Kenyon, and I would love for you to join the Native American Arts Club here at Tempview this year. Well, we can make a variety of different crafts or art projects such as these various beading projects as this bracelet, this in progress bracelet, or a beaded medallion like this with necklace. We may also make rattlers such as this or a drum such as this or a stick, walking stick like this one. I think it would be a great time where we can learn about Native American culture and also play around with various crafts and just have a fun time. Thank you for your consideration. What can you expect from Storytelling Club this year? Uh, you can expect poetry, it's going to be a party, and <coughs> cults. What was that? Uh, you don't need to worry about them. Why should you join Storytelling Club? It's going to be a party, and there's going to be cults. Wait, there's not going to be any of that. Sorry. Not allowed to say that. Mr. President, what can you expect from Storytelling Club this year? You can expect a lot of things, but two of them will be world building and philosophy. Why should you join Storytelling Club? Because Chelsea Singleton is a teacher advisor. What can you expect this year from Storytelling Club? Well, in U31, every other Friday at 1230, you can expect... That's the cutoff. <laughs> Why should you join Storytelling Club? Oh, we're doing a lot of stuff, but one of the things we're doing this year is building characters better than ourselves. Ryan Reynolds! What can you expect from Storytelling Club this year? Oh, what fabulous secretary! <laughs> Why should you join Storytelling Club? 
If I'm being completely and utterly honest here, you should join before you're forced. I speak from experience. Hi everyone, my name is Livia Clark. I'm the president of the Tim Fee for Life Club and I am pro-life. Hi, I'm Chloe Cromenhook. I'm the vice president of the Tim Fee for Life Club and I am pro-choice. As many of you know, Roe v. Wade was overturned this summer. And whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, that means that abortion access in the state of Utah will be very limited. Whether pro-life or pro-choice, we can all agree that supporting women and children is one of the best ways to aid in the issue of abortion. Some of the activities we will hold include fundraisers, where all the proceeds will go to women's clinics, uh, drives for baby clothes to gather anything that a new mom will need, um, movie nights where all the money that we raise will be sent to charity, and um, passing out lollipops for Lost Birthday Day, which celebrates the birthdays of the children who died due to miscarriage or abortion and were never able to celebrate. This will, we will also extend this to celebrate the, birthday, the birthdays of children who were neglected or abused and also didn't get to celebrate their birthday. Well, we are very excited to start our club. We are hoping to serve women and children in the state of Utah and we hope you will join us. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is the Not Yet Millionaires Club and the purpose of this club is to gather like-minded people who are interested in investing, finance, entrepreneurship, and business so we can all learn and grow together. In this club, we will do everything ranging from entrepreneurship competitions to even getting lectures from experienced business people. But why should you join? Do you guys want to join the club? Uh, I don't know. What's the club? Yeah. The club is like a, a cool club called Not Yet Millionaires. It's about money. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. Let's go. They want to join, guys. Please join. What's your favorite food? Orange chicken. She likes orange chicken. That means you guys should join, all right? So the, the one question I have for you guys today is would you join the club? Club, uh, yes. If it's that, yeah. Why should you join the Not Yet Millionaires Club? So you can be a top G, like me. that's a safe space for everyone, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity. We get together twice a month after school on Fridays and do fun activities like service projects, art projects, or just parties. We would love to have you all join. The Tim Few Rock Music Club is a weekly club that's simply a book club for rock music. This includes any kind of music with an electric guitar and drums. In each session of the club, you will choose an album, and over the next week, you will listen to that album, and you will talk about it in the next session. It's Skelly. When signing up for clubs this week, be sure to sign up for HOSA, the medical club here at Timview. No matter your interest level in medicine or health science, come to HOSA for a good time, fun activities, yummy snacks, and a chance to meet new people. Plus, it looks good on college applications and resumes. Be sure to pick up an application for HOSA in Abbott's room, room L24. We usually have our activities at least once or twice a month, and we hope to see you at HOSA. Bye, y'all!